So LG reached out to me and asked me to test their LG Dual App monitor. And naturally I said yes, considering that I was actually on the market to buy additional monitor for my video editing setup. That was one of the monitors I was thinking about. So it was actually really cool that they reached out to test it out and to share my honest opinions about it. I have to point out this is not a sponsor video. I don't have any contact with them. These are my honest first impression thoughts about this product. So let's go first to the basics. The LG Dual App is a 28 inch monitor with 60 Hz refresh rate. It is essentially uh, one display that can act as two 22 inch uh, 16 by 9 monitors, one on top of each other. The 16 by 18 aspect ratio, although actually really weird is actually really beneficial for my workflow i'm a final cut editor i do use also uh, adobe camera roll photoshop and bridge so it fits really nicely into my workspace for final cut i use the dual app for my timeline and my library and studio display for image preview and all the scopes and considering the dual app is rather tall monitor and has a lot of vertical real estate and it is perfect for timelines that are more complex where there is a lot of sound editing and a lot of I don't know different layers of uh, transitions or color grading or everything so I do have a lot of real estate to get that timeline really tall also I do see it being used as a studio setup in the future for example it has uh, two HDMI ports on the back and if you plug in two cameras you can split the image into two 22 inch 60 by 9 monitors basically so if I film something with two cameras currently I'm using one but in the future I plan to use two i can just set it up like that having both cameras plug into it and control the image and i do see that as something really useful for a lot of people now i do think this is an amazing companion to any normal monitor like in a dual monitor setup or to your laptop but considering the aspect ratio that it has i don't see it being used as a standalone monitor although it looks really cool considering that it has really interesting and unique aspect ratio and the four in some cases i presume some people will decide to use it as a standalone monitor but i do think this is uh mostly a, like a productivity monitor where you're gonna use it as a second monitor or maybe in a dual setup with two devices plugged into one unit to save space uh, on your desk now one thing that i really like and love about this monitor it has a usb-c that has a power delivery so you can plug your macbook straight to the monitor and will charge it so you can use it with one cable it can act as a hub it has two usb 3 ports on the back type a so you can plug in uh i don't know storage hard drive or some additional peripheral devices that will work through that usb c the only downside is if you turn off the monitor it cuts the power through usb-c ports so you have to be aware if you're using i don't know hard drives but if it goes to uh, standby mode then in that case it will not turn off the power through those usb ports so i noticed that for some use cases i guess that could be a problem on the back additionally to those usb-a and uh, usb-c port you can find also two hdmi ports one display port and also a headphone jack considering that this monitor doesn't have amazing speakers they're okay i mean to listen to i don't know tv or something but it's not like a content consumption monitor so the speakers are average i would say and that's normal on those type of monitors i would suggest using some better speakers if you plan to edit on this device or even if you plan to do content consumption which this monitor is not great for i would say i did use it uh, for youtube but i still output my sound to my studio display and i uh, watch youtube on it when i'm working for example if i'm editing photos or retouching or something i just put something on the upper half of the screen here then down here i have notes for editing or maybe uh, adobe bridge for additional photos if i need to take something for retouching and i edit here on this monitor my photos now for video editing i do use it in like a dual monitor setup so uh, as i said i have my timeline and my library here but in some cases i use this only as a video editing base considering that it has a really 
great aspect ratio for uh, vertical content. I usually do a lot of vertical content for my clients. And in that case, sometimes I just prefer to have everything on one screen. Now the monitor offers excellent image quality, much better than I was expecting, considering that it's a productivity monitor, not a monitor for editing. I have to point out when you plug it in into the MacBook, uh, the resolution that it offers is going to be a bit hard on your eyes. I would say everything is tiny. So I did set it up to the second available resolution that it offers. It scales pretty nicely and it matches pretty well with the studio display, which I was actually really amazed because I didn't expect it to match that well. Now I have to say setting it up on the desk was a bit challenging considering its unique shape. I decided to go like to line it up on the top. You cannot go much lower than this here considering that you have a control down there. Some people probably would love to have it all the way down on the desk considering it's pretty tall but that's not possible with this arm maybe with another solution that's possible but then you lose all the controls now great thing about this monitor you get in the box a really amazing arm that's really flexible and versatile you can like move it really easily i don't know you can rotate it there is a lot of things that you can do really easily that will help you a lot so my first gripe is that it has a really large power supply i understand why it's like that considering that for this arm the monitor has to be really light to move around and also considering that it offers power delivery through the usb-c i do understand why lg went with the external power supply that is slightly large i would say but it didn't help me with my cable management considering that i have a stand-up desk and my net below the desk where I put all the cables is already crowded. Good thing is the arm that you get with the monitor has a nice cable management. So I guess you win some, you lose some. To sum it all up, I would say LG Dual Up monitor is really interesting take on a productivity monitor. It's unique and I really like it. It ended up being pretty useful for my workflow. I do think that it is really interesting for all the people that are looking to build a Dual Up or triple monitor setup considering you can split this uh, display to two screens which is amazing for those people that have a really small workspace and need dual monitor setups so i have to say this monitor ended up being pretty great with its image quality versatility and i highly recommended it if you are in the market to buy a new productivity monitor especially if you need a lot of vertical real estate to work on if you are a video editor programmer photo editor or similar thing i hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful. If it was, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them down there in the comment section. I will answer all of those questions. And also, if you really like this video, please subscribe and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.